Yo, what it do, St. Louis? Y'all know what time it is, man. It is time for the St. Louis Hustle podcast this morning. Thank you so much for tuning in. We've got a wonderful show uh, lined up for you. And um, got to shout out our studio sponsor, Free Funnel Machine. Dot com. If you know anything about sales funnels, you know it's going to save you some time, effort, and money and make you more money. So go to freefunnelmachine.com. Uh, I'm sitting here with my lovely co-host, Michelle A. We're going to talk a little bit about relationships this morning. And can you stand the rain of coronavirus and will your relationship survive? We've got some great gone viral clips for you as well. And then Michelle is going to give you guys some updates on um what's going on with the coronavirus and they about to open up outside y'all how was that i mean is it a good thing is it a bad thing nevertheless man let's roll this intro growing up in st louis has never been easy and most say if you want to succeed here that you must leave and put down roots somewhere else because of the strong crabs in a barrel mentality here I don't know if I'm just an optimistic person, but to see people like Chuck Berry and Nelly make it in the music industry, or the Roberts Brothers and Dave Stewart in business, or William Lacey Clay Jr. in politics, can we blame the city, or is it that people just aren't hungry enough? We're talking to all of the movers and shakers in this town, from entertainers to politicians, social activists and organizers, and of course, entrepreneurs. Is there a curse on this city that holds people back? Is there an unseen hand that decides who makes it and who doesn't? You're about to find out. Welcome, Welcome to St. Louis Hustle. Hustle. Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the St. Louis Hustle podcast. We are live and, and live in color Coming from the Free Farm Machine Studios here in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, I'm your boy, Cortez Hustle. That is my girl, Michelle. Hey, what's going on, Michelle? Man, what's what's going on? What's going on, Tessie? I, I am what's chilling. Hey, happy Tuesday. Happy, happy Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, we made it another week of quarantine. Uh, we made it through. Uh, and here we are. Yeah, I'm over here having a lash. Catastrophe. I just need to let you know early because okay. uh, <laughs> a last catastrophe. What is that? Catastrophe. If the quarantine wasn't bad enough, I could wind up one eye open uh, before <laughs> the end of the show. So I just have to let you know. Uh, <laughs> careful the products, ladies. Uh, I'm trying these new magnetic lashes. I didn't plan on talking about my lashes during the show, but uh, apparently <laughs> that's going to be topic uh, first thing out the gate. Um, these new magnetics, I got to figure out how to wear them apparently because I'm not wearing them right because I got one that's ready to jump off. Okay. I gotta, and um, yeah, this one don't want to stay on. This eyelash is like literally talking to me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> me and this lash was beefing like East Coast, West Coast because this <laughs> lash I believe. And I was like, you will not. This lash was like, what? I'll, I'll jump off. I'll be a rocker. <laughs> Keep talking. I'm literally like, you better not. You won't feel like Boom, I'm out of here. So I'm like, please don't, don't, just please stay. So I'm over here just, just begging my lash. Oh, man, you want to stay? Please don't leave me. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, sweat song, don't leave me, baby, please. Please don't leave me. So, you yeah, over begging your lash to stay. I'm trying to convince it. I'm, I can't flutter. I can't be cute today. I can't flutter because it might, it might, it might, it might be. And then it'd be down on my lip, be like, what's that? What is going on? What, like, hey, it'll be like, hey, 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 what's going? Yeah, so. Mm, all right. So, oh, what that? so outside of uh, lash news, uh, what's going on with the coronavirus? <laughs> right, with the uh, coronavirus, I get to my setup today. I got to get to work with a new setup, trying to get my studio together so I can be right for the people. I'm trying yeah. to. Love it. Trying to be right for y'all. I'm trying to be right for the people, uh, Tessie. That's I like for that. You tell your father-in-law, I said, thanks. <laughs> I, man, Tessie, I, I think you should get that on T-shirts. Yeah. I that branding for you. Yeah, you know he, he will. Get rid of Cortez. Uh, Google Sugar Baby Honey, would you get Tessie <laughs> on the line? Uh, call, call Tessie. Hey, 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 this, this Google ain't acting right. I'm trying to call Tessie. 
Like, first of all, Tezzy ain't in your phone. <laughs> Second of all, did you? Yes. He should be a new marketing person. Yes. Second of okay. all, uh, you can't put uh, Honey Baby Sugar in front of Google and, and she's not going to respond. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Don't do your don't do your uh, father in law. You know what I'm saying? I think Google needs to step their game up. That might be true. That might Thank be you. true. Yes, I, I agree. Because they have urban dictionary. They just need to make one for older black people. That's all. Listen, it's going to be a while before he gets to the name he's trying to call. So just hang in there with him. Right. <laughs> just hang in there right. with him. Maybe a few adjectives before they get to the name. Um, <laughs> I understand. So, um, all right. So the numbers, the numbers is, so here's the thing. I heard this this morning. The numbers are declining somewhat. They still kind of okay. high. Cool. They go high. Gotcha. Spade hand. It's <laughs> like a You know what I'm saying? So they low high. So um, Missouri is like, again, I just gave up. We just rounded off the numbers now. So we right around 7K. Okay. Uh, I ain't going to talk about death because I just, I'm done with death. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm done with death. Oh, so we're right. right around cases. We're right around 7K. Illinois is right around 45K. Gotcha. Pray, gotcha. pray for Illinois. That's all I got to say is, yeah, pray for Illinois. That's what we're going to yeah. do. Um, and as always, shout out to our, you know, our first responders, um, our essential workers. Shout out to y'all, you know, because y'all are always out there making it happen. You know, right. um, Spin the wheel, pick an essential worker, you know what I'm saying, and do something nice for them today. You know, if you see them out on the street, buy them lunch. You know, if you're, um, you know, uh, if you're in a restaurant, you know what I'm saying, or a drive through with somebody, you notice somebody in uniform, um, you know, just pay it forward. You know, pay for their lunch, you know, pay for the car yeah. behind Absolutely. or something. You know, just, just try to do something nice for them. Speaking of um, which, for yeah. our, if you are an essential worker, I want you to put in the description what you do and, and drop, your, drop your cash out too. Drop listen, your cash, man. Listen, if you are an essential worker, describe oh. what you do and drop your cash out. Now, I ain't going to guarantee that it's going to be a blessing waiting for you at the end of the show, but it might. I'm just saying. You never know. Right. You know what? I'm, I'm, we, we're going to do like this. I'm trying to multi I'm not a great multitasker, but I'm trying to get my thing to, to work and um we're just gonna keep it real. Um I'm I'm trying to I'm gonna figure it out. Share the show. Can you share the show? Can yes. you not share the show yes. if you're on? Can you share the show? Um uh, this is gonna sound like a real oxymoron, but if you're on and you're 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 watching right now, can somebody share the show with me? <laughs> okay. Share it to Michelle. She's having trouble over there. I can't, you, can't you do that. Can you share the show? <laughs> yes. uh, talk to my head now, my heart. But can you share the show with me? And, um, you know what I'm saying? I, and, and then when you share it, drop your cash out uh, in, in the in the, in the Who Shot John, like a uh, uh, Tizzy said. And, um, uh, uh, you know, you look at less. Uh, again, first responders, you know, come on, first responders. Yes. First responder to first respond. I <laughs> see. And let okay. us know what it is that you are out there doing on the front. <laughs> lines uh what do you think about uh opening up outside right now michelle is it let me tell you something is it time or i don't think it's time mm -hmm. says the person who was out last week uh, <laughs> now wasn't out out okay what happened was this is what y'all need to understand i'll be looking out for the dog Okay, so if you see me in the in the streets, and y'all probably see me because I got personalized plates. Hey, mm -hmm. so when you see me <laughs> in the streets, I ain't out there up to no good. I'm looking out for y'all. Okay, so when I was out on Sunday, partaking in the wonderful weather, mm -hmm. I was making sure the motorcycle riders were safe. I was pulling folks over. Right. I, was, <laughs> I was snatching them off the bikes, baby. <laughs> cool, they were safe. I was pull over. Uh -huh. Pull over. <laughs> make sure they were safe because you know we're doing wheelies and stuff. That's not safe. That's I right. had to make sure I got their license registrations and phone numbers to make sure that they wasn't doing that and make sure that they don't be doing that no more. That's right. 
that's right. what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? So I had to make sure people were staying safe. So if you saw me out, that's what I was doing. I don't think it's time for us to be fully engaged and outside like that. I don't come outside my car and I have my mask on. I ain't crazy. There it is. You know what I'm saying? I ain't outside. Now, I saw folks. I was driving down the natural bridge. Mm-hmm. And folks was all up and down the natural bridge. I was <laughs> the car. Kicking it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I saw... Um, I, I saw... <laughs> A, an image from one of the uh, parks in one of the counties in Georgia. Uh, and yeah, it was it was uh, Forest Park on Sunday in Georgia is what it was. They was having a funky good time. Uh, and they were not, I repeat, they were not socially distancing themselves one from another. Uh, <laughs> they don't, no, they're not, they're not socially distancing. Um, that and that's the foolishness in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I passed by folk at the Natural Bridge, Pat, when it was out by the by Yonder, mm-hmm. they was they was cars parked on top of cars. Over there. <laughs> I'm like, if you keep your cars six feet away from each other, I mean, they would pull up to my bumper, baby. <laughs> I'll say it at least keep your car six feet apart. Yeah, that's crazy. So, corona. That's crazy. How, how about your president? Um, and uh, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. How about my president? Uh, I ain't got my stimulus check yet, so he's still my president to look no. at the stimulus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> better love him. You better love your president. Well, what is mine. he talking hey, about? I is... divorced him. I got mine. I told you already. Look. Uh, for exchange ain't no robber. I told you what I was going to do. It was a one night stand going into this thing. <laughs> it was going to happen. And it happened. I ain't did nothing wrong. I told you it was going to be one night stand. I said, I'm going to money and I'm not calling you the next day. And I, <laughs> what is he talking about, though? Taking a disinfectant. That's your president, sugar. <laughs> okay. Your president. And here's the thing. Okay, so y'all know what the heck this man did. Um, shout out some people. I, you know, I am a good multitasker. Somebody to share the show. Look at there you go. Now I can't figure out how to get it on the thing, but somebody done share the show. <laughs> um, I, I got to figure out who did it, but I, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm trying to see the name, and I see folks. Well, hello, look at the folks. Good morning, uh, Trevor. Good morning, Madonna. Well, good morning, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, y'all. I don't see no cat. I'm sorry. So, I'm okay. <laughs> This is why you can't trust folks. Um, so, but, so, the president told folk about the disinfected, right? Here's the thing. When he did it, first he did it, then he tried to come back on Twitter and was like, that's just me, basically, right? <laughs> but when he was telling folk about the disinfected, he was looking at the lady to the side. Now, you know, when you when you're trying to uh, find out information about something and you're really trying to um, you're serious about it and you're really trying mm-hmm. to inquire and get information, there's an inquisitive look that you have on your face. Mm-hmm. So when he was looking at the lady, um, the just the look he was trying to get her buy in. He was talking about some I was using sarcasm. Nah, so we're gonna pretend that the lady is in that black chair back there. And he say, um, uh. So we could just inject that, right? No, no, we could. So we could, we could do something like that, right? Something like that would work. Well, we could just take the Lysol and just guzzle it down, right? Yeah. <laughs> that just might work. He was serious. Mm. He was serious. There wasn't a chuckle. There wasn't a, I'm just playing, I gotcha. <laughs> no, he was serious. He was like, mm. he was like he was on to something. And his mind yeah. was like, oh, he was like, nailed it. Yes, he like, yes. He was like, got my second turn. <laughs> and then when he gonna come back on Twitter, talking about some, I'm the hardest working president that there ever was. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, That's your that president. was that was just on that silly, silly, <laughs> silly, silly. That man. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. 
We're going to take a quick break, man. When we come back, we're going to get all up in your relationship business, man. Can your relationship survive the coronavirus? Not just you and your boo, but hell, some of y'all might be trying to kill y'all kids around here, man. Can your parent and your kid relationship survive? Keep it locked right here. We're going to let you guys know what we think when we come back. Single Social Podcast is brought to you by Reggie the Lion. Go to ReggieTheLion.com, grab yourself a copy of the coloring book, and keep up with all the latest developments of the dog and everything that Reggie the Lion is planning to bring to our children. Also, check out OfficeHuddlePrint.com. All of the graphic designs that you've seen for the St. Louis Hustle Podcast are courtesy of Office Huddle Print Shop. Our good friends helped us with logos, flyers, thumbnails, even our merchandise, courtesy of OfficeHuddlePrint.com. St. Louis Credit Repair Institute, get your credit in the right order. SELCreditFix.com, they average 50 to 150 point increases for over 100,000 customers so far, and you can be next. SELCreditFix.com. The St. Louis Hustle Podcast is a copyrighted production of iHustle Media Group. Any unauthorized use of the content of this show is strictly prohibited. iHustle Media Group, a better way to market. Yo! Welcome back. Here we go again. STL Hustle Podcast.com, man. Y'all can check this show out live. I know some of you guys are listening as you're driving in your cars and things of that nature. Download the podcast. We appreciate it when y'all go to iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those places and download. But if you ever want to see Michelle and her shenanigans, make sure you go over to STL Hustle Podcast. Dot com, or you can check us out on the YouTube channel as well as the Facebook page, St. Louis Hustle Podcast. So before we jumped out to that break, Michelle, we were talking about those folks out here about to kill these kids, man. And you're looking at one of them right now. Um, <laughs> you, you know, state of Missouri frowns upon that. Hey, hey, listen, where is it? Oklahoma, if if you can drop them off before 18 and they'll just take care of them, um, you know. Yep. They, turn blind eye. <laughs> they 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 like, hey, if they show up, we got them. But uh, we ain't encouraging you to do that. Right. But you don't really it, want them. On them. <laughs> we will help. So how many of you guys out there are living with young kids and uh you trying to work from home they homeschooling and uh y'all is stressed af as the young folks say uh, <laughs> Whoa, you really been hanging out with kids haven't you <laughs> yes that's yes. the proof right there stressed af up in this piece so mine are not young my youngest is 18 and uh, what we are dealing with is, you know, uh, they think they grown. Uh, mm -hmm. So I've got in the house with me, the 18 year old, the 20 year old, and the soon to be 22 year old, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> because they came back from school, school shut down. So now all of us are in the house together. Now, mind you, the house that we were in, we chose this house for the three of us. It was me, my sugar, and my baby boy. So now we kind of on top of one another because these other two jokers and came home full time and they got their music blasting when they working out. Uh, they've got the company uh, that comes and hangs out and it's like, hey, listen people, listen Linda. Uh, <laughs> listen. Could y'all chill out a little bit? So talk to us about uh, parents and childs in a stressful relationship because of this coronavirus, right? Right, right. So, okay, so here is my perspective, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm on the other end of the perspective. So okay. I have two different angles. I have the female perspective, mm -hmm. gotcha. and then I got the out-the-house perspective. Okay. Um, from the female perspective, um, I got girls, you know, mm -hmm. and um, I know what it's like to have the females in the house and the friends and the, oh my God, and the gossip and the giggles <laughs> and the ease and the ha-ha's, okay. which I think is 
far worse than any rain that boys could ever put on your household <laughs> is having a whole circle of females in your household. Got you. Yeah. Got you. Um, but here, I'll, I'll up you. It's like a, it's like a game of poker. <laughs> see, I'll see your boys with the mm -hmm. hip hop and the working out. I'll raise you kids outside the house that come back to your house when they really don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> But they choose to come here. Gotcha. And, um, I'm like, you do realize you don't have to be here. You got a whole place over there on the other side of town. It's a whole place. Oh, another place you can be at. That oh, you pay for, by the way. <laughs> you, you might want to get your money's worth out of it. <laughs> you want to be up under me. Um, and and they're old enough to to use foul language. Um, and respectfully, they shouldn't. Um, but they feel like they can emphasize the point of the story by saying, excuse me, mama, blah, 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 and dropping it. <laughs> saying, excuse me, don't make it no less a curse word than just saying the curse word. Yes. It's still a curse word. Even when you say, excuse me, mama, <laughs> it's still a curse word. And you know what? It's still offensive. Uh. <laughs> Your mama, like I still want to Get this out of my hand together. Right. So this right. back and back. This is a bow. You just see that's why I keep this wrist limber. It's just the smacking and get all of this mm -hmm. area right now. Yes. It's still a smack. It just it's it's so the when outside was open, mm -hmm. I was never <laughs> I didn't go to my house because I wasn't here. Right. Right. In my house. I'm yeah. not in my house. You'll be in my house. I don't care. I hide all the good stuff. So you'll be in my house. I really don't care. I'm not here. It didn't matter. But with Corona, I'm not here. <laughs> they, they, they catch you there every time. They, they pull up on you every time and you there. <laughs> what I cook. What you cook. <laughs> what I cook. What did you cook? What did you bring? Yeah. Did you bring something for me to cook? <laughs> what did you cook? Did you cook something? Bring it to me. Or they call me and be like, you know what I cook? You're over there having a party with what you cook, but you call me and tell me about the party that you had when you cook stuff, but you didn't invite me, but then you come to my house and ask me what I cook. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Ah, okay. Gotcha. So that's what you dealing with. Any other y'all out there dealing with some of that grown people uh, drama outside the house? Uh, well, at least you can put them out, right? So. I'm sorry. That was sorry, Lord. Don't put them out. So, got a couple of tips for you guys. I'm reading this article, and uh, for the family situation, and we're gonna get back to uh, you know co-worker situation and love life situation because it's there's some stress going on and some love lives around here. But one of the things they suggest for the entire family is establish a routine. And uh, I'm loving this because we don't have one right now. And that's our problem. Because see, my wife and I, we've got a routine. You know, we in bed at a certain time. We up early. I'm up early for y'all doing this show. So we've got a routine. And uh, quite frankly, we almost old. So what that means is at nine o'clock, brothers start looking like this here. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so at, at nine o'clock, we wind it down. Well, because we have no routine, well, we have a routine. I just don't like the routine they have. The routine they have is they going to sleep to three. So when I'm doing this at nine, they doing this at nine, just getting up fully wide awake and like they've had a few red bulls. Uh, so <laughs> that's kind of the routine that we own. So this article suggests establishing a routine together. Uh, and I think we need to get on a um, routine that uh, corresponds one with the other because we this opposite routine is like midnight shell and they like they're cooking like a six course breakfast they got pancakes going on they've got sausage bacon they've got the eggs with the cheese and the toast 
And I'm like, it's six in the morning, uh, 12 in the morning. And, you know, so we've got to get on a good routine around here is what we got to do. Good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that. I was going to say, yeah, you are working with adolescents, preteen, you are with grown men. Yes. Good luck with getting them to work with that breakfast time. And they've been on their own. The 18 year old man, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You still kind of threaten him with, I'll take away. Blah, blah, right. Blah. Right. Oh, mother two. Oh, they didn't have a taste of. They didn't taste of the air. Yes. Outside. They didn't taste yes. the outside air. They didn't yeah. have a taste the food. So <laughs> they didn't have. They've been out there with chicken. <laughs> they on the ground railroad. You ain't gonna get them back. It's all right. So they gone. Mm. They gone. They gone. It's all right. So yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So. Yeah. Tell us this, man, in the comments. Hey, man, y'all don't want this blessing? I don't know about you on your end. I don't see any cash apps in the comments. Uh, but nevertheless. I got a little money. I mean, I got some coins to rub together to bless somebody. Okay, you know what so I'm saying? This, right? Somebody drop that cash out and then um, let us bless you and you take and give the money to somebody else. How about that? You don't know nobody that you can give the money to? Hey. You take and bless a first responder today. We are blessed to be a blessing. Michelle then said that if you're out when you ain't supposed to be out, but if you're out and our people who are supposed to be out might be at the lunch counter in the lunch line, then why don't you uh, have some food delivered to them? Pick up the tab, grab them a mask or two or some gloves or whatever the case may be. Guys, keep it locked right here. When we come back, we're going to dive all the way into your love life relationship. How is that thing happening? See, for me and mine, we're going to get to that on the other side of the break. But some of y'all, you might have some separation anxiety. Some Is there a such thing as togetherness anxiety? We just been together too, too long. I don't know, man. Talk about that way and then that way, because I think it goes both ways. It like, goes both ways. In with your romantic relationship. I think it could go both ways. All right, so keep it locked right here on the other side of this break. We're going to talk about can your love relationship survive the coronavirus? I have done two prior Young Jeb Better Health Now challenges. I decided this time around I needed an extra push. A good thing to remember is 32 pounds is the weight of my three and a half year old son, and I am not carrying around a, a three and a half year old, basically. I'm a mother of four. I just want to want to see how healthy I can get so that I can be around for a while. It's pretty amazing whenever you're excited to get on the scales every morning and see what the numbers are instead of dreading it. When I went to convention last year, the day of the 5K, when this lady Merle came across the finish line. It, she was visually impaired, she was blind. From this day forth, I said, I'm, I'm changing my lifestyle, and I'm just gonna be a whole new me. I was out of control. I really let myself go. And I thought, okay, who loses 12 pounds in a week? I'm like, this is such a joke. But it happened, and it happened again, and again, and again. Anybody can do this. If I can do it, you can do it. Leading up to today has been a whirlwind, but I feel amazing. Everybody makes you feel really awesome when you come here too, so it just kind of like heightens your excitement about everything. I feel so much better. If I could help just one person be able to do that for their life, then it'd be worth it all. I feel amazing. I can't believe how far I've came from last year to this year. I have kept my weight off within two to five pounds, which is a complete miracle. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the St. Louis Social Podcast, coming live and direct from the freefunnelmachine.com studios here in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm your host, Cortez Hustle. That is my co-host, Michelle A. And we are talking relationships under stress of coronavirus. Will your relationship survive? So, Michelle... We know that you are single and Mr. Wright is looking for you right now. But what do you think is going on? And you talk about going 
to the both ends of the extreme. Can people be together too, too much? Uh, and that cause some, some problems in a relationship? And could it be some, hey, we can't hook up like we normally do, so now we've got too much idle time apart. What do you think is the worst case scenario for relationships during coronavirus? Ooh, well, I think that, okay, so there's some different angles, right? So I think that um, relationship-wise, I think people are finding out, you know what I'm saying, um, about their relationships. Right. So because you're people are being forced this is me on the outside of the in other folks relationship because I'm the person being single. I got to hear all this girl he oh my God, this is what she did. <laughs> and, oh my oh my I can't believe they did this. So I think that this is forcing people to deal with um the reality of their relationship, right? So mm -hmm. if you look at it from a standpoint of it just depends on what kind of relationship you want. Like if you are that kind of person that thrives in a relationship that's built on separation, right? You go to work, he goes to work, um, y'all come home, you spend five, six hours together, you go to bed, that's your relationship. And then you maybe do three, four hours together on the weekend, that's your relationship, right? And maybe that's okay for some people. And they make it 10, 15, 20 years, and that's fine for them. Um, now the world has shut down, and now you gotta spend that three, four hours on the weekend, um, or what, three, four hours during the week, each day has now turned into 10 to 12 hours per day. Mm -hmm. You know, it's now turned into, you know, 15 hours per day. Right. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? So now, it's too much. Now, <laughs> I'm a sick of you. I'm sick of seeing you. I'm sick of seeing you. You, I, you stink. You stink. <laughs> now, y'all on each other's nerves, and now you're discovering things about each other that you really didn't know. Because beforehand, you had eight hours away each day. And you had maybe time with your homeboys and time with your homegirls that mm -hmm. you were had in there. Time with the kids and, and time that you didn't really have to be up under that person. Right. Um, I think it kind of goes back to you know somebody who went out in the summer before you. <laughs> my, my, my grandma used to always say, "Baby, you better get to know them before you get with them. It's easier to get in than it is to get out. It's gonna be some people talk about Corona babies coming out of this. It's gonna be some Corona divorces coming out of this. Ooh, yeah. I'm just trying to speak. Ooh, sorry, Lord. I ain't trying to speak that, but people are gonna really. They're gonna get to know their mates in this season. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna, yeah. You're going to learn who you're sleeping with for the first time. Probably yeah. in good 20 years. You're going to learn who in the bed next to you. You know, you're going to learn some things. It may reverse some things in some marriages. Some people may get to really know and it may bring some revitalization in some relationships, I think. Mm -hmm. But then I think, unfortunately, it may bring about some separation. Yeah. Some people realize that they've been sleeping with the enemy. Some people may realize, and I've seen this on the news and I've been hearing this in different uh, different feeds. Some people may realize what's been going on up under their own nose. Your husband been cheating, or your your significant other been doing something to to some family members in your household that they shouldn't have been doing. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you're turning a blind eye to some things that you should not have been turning a blind eye to. Yeah, you I think it's definitely going to it's definitely going to get real uh, because you you got not only do you have the time where you guys are together more than normal but then when you add to that um there's there's almost no escape right yeah. because yeah. i used to be able to go down to the bar and throw me a couple back and have some conversations and i come back we done cooled off and yeah. no, it ain't, <laughs> no you gotta sit you gotta sit in this mess uh yep. <laughs> you can't run from this argument uh, and go to work today, work late, come home, it's just time for bed, then get up, I got to go to work. So really, we ain't seen each other in about 48 hours for real, for real. So we forgot what we was arguing about. Yep. No, Jigga. Your work wife or your work husband can't save you, boo. <laughs> right. And that's them. Mm, don't, don't wind me up on that one. I'm not even, because I'm so, that mm. whole thing involving other people in your relationship and that some people use that emotional getaway mm -hmm. to deal with what's going on at home i'm gonna go to i'm gonna step on a whole lot of toes Ooh, and I ain't, you know, 
I'm gonna do it anyway. Sorry, Lord. Uh, you can't go to work and make love to your and make emotional love to your uh work wife or your work husband mm-hmm. when your real uh husband or wife is on your uh nerves at home. You can't go uh, to work and make love to them emotionally yeah. like you've been doing. And that's <laughs> walking around with them, uh, hugged up with them, DMing with them at work mm-hmm. when life ain't before you're at home. Emotionally, you're checked out. Because yeah. you would work. That's a real thing. Yeah, it, it is, man. And, he, and then you also uh, think about how not only do you not have that whole situation, but like you were mentioning earlier, is at work, I probably could get away with a lot of stuff and I don't got to be uh, as vigilant uh, with my phone and making sure that it's because. If it's laying around here for 12 hours, I think uh, Miss uh, or Mr. Passcode Decoder, now that they got a little more time on their hands, uh, can figure out how to get that thing unlocked. Or you're more likely to get caught slipping. Uh, (laughs) Let me tell you, I was the queen of, I don't, and I thank God for security, but back in the day when I was insecure on that thing, I was a queen of cracking codes. I was like, oh. (laughs) <laughs> it looks like you did seven three eight four. Oh, okay, so you did this right here, or did you did that? Oh, okay, I can I can mimic that. I can. Okay, you did this. Okay, I can do that. Mm. Mm. Freedom. Uh, I think that, yeah. I, I'm watching them. Do. I'm watching them fingers when you hit that code. When you do okay. the little squiggly line. Oh, it was up here oh, in a I, double curve, and right. then a back up into the right corner. Got that, it. That, <laughs> Got him. Yeah, I, I don't even do all that. I ain't got time. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's a whole lot of people that wake up. It's a whole lot of reality. The last thing I want to yeah. say on there is even mm-hmm. in friendships, right? And this is the yeah. tricky part. Um, even in your friendships, it's the opposite, right? Because uh like my friendships, you I, I don't hang I don't have an opportunity like my friendships, right? Mm-hmm. They're at home with their families. Because right. they, they're at home with their families. Right. So I'm having separation anxiety. I'm not hanging out. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I see my kids because they're my kids. Right. But right. I'm hanging out. You know? And so what are you replacing that friendship, those friendships with, right? Those friendship mm. relationships with. Yeah. Okay. Am I am I eating? I'm trying to lose I'm trying to lose. <laughs> um, am I online shopping? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Am I online dating? Oh, I'm trying not to always. I'm trying. <laughs> Right. I'm trying. I'm trying not to online date. But you know, what about replacing replacing those those friendships with, you know? Yeah. Um, because there's some separation anxiety. You know, I'm not hanging out with my besties anymore. You know, we talk occasionally mm. on the phone, but we're not hanging. I seen her the other day because it was her daughter's birthday, uh, Sunday, mm. you know, and, yeah. and so my goddaughter, and I'm I'm like, I hadn't seen her since all of this broke out. I haven't seen my best friend since February. Wow. You know, just like Yeah. Man, she seems so distant, and I know it's nothing personal, but she's got a family, and and yeah. we can hang, and you know, so it, it's 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 tricky. Will we come out of this the same? Will we still yeah. be friends like we were? I mean, we'll always be friends, but will we come yeah. back together? Like we were? Because to your point, some of us might say, you know what, I was hanging out a little too much to begin with. You know, being at home actually strengthened what yep. we're trying to do as a family. So when this is over, we're going to keep things like they are. We're not going back to the way they used to be. Um, you know, I, I get that, man. So, yeah, uh, relationships are going to definitely change and transform. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get into some gone viral uh, people, um, you know, yeah. Speaking on the relationship tip, we've got a couple uh, father-daughter relationships on going viral. And I apologize to our listeners who download the podcast. I can't never do these clips any justice describing them. When you get a chance, you just have to go over to uh, stlhustlepodcast.com or to the YouTube channel or the Facebook page so you can see some of these things, man. There's some talented people out there who are putting these clips together, man, and and sharing them with the world. So that's one blessing of 
social media. So we're going to go into uh, Gone Viral number one. This is called Daddy's Little Girl. And this uh, <laughs> this is one of those things where a uh, little girl is singing her heart off, uh, but she don't know the words. And uh, Daddy is getting a little fired up at the young baby. But uh, let me just roll the clip so you guys can check it out. <laughs> You're getting the lyrics. When you're with me. It's a clown with you. gentlemen <laughs> now he was in a zone but i'm going to tell you since we're talking about relationships and how to quickly cause them to deteriorate i saw she made three carnal mistakes um number one she touched the brother's radio right that's number one uh you jamming and singing the wrong words to the songs and all that, and then you're going to change my station? Uh, that's number one. Number two, she's standing up in my man car seat. Now, uh, you know, like I know, that even though we're in this quarantine situation, brother man has been outside at his car waxing and rubbing that thing down for days on end because he ain't got nothing else to do, right? Right. Right. So he, and she's at her feet in his seat. That's number two. Number three, she grabbed the phone, right? Now we talked about how brothers have to be super vigilant with their phones these days. Uh, and baby girl could probably, even on accident, kind of get that up, down, left, double curve, and up to the left and mess around and unlock the phone. And then mama sees it. What's what you, you spoke like a man. You, you <laughs> like a man. All that was it. Yes, yes. So that is uh daddy's girl number one. Now we've got the other end of the spectrum talking about daddy's girls destroying uh relationships between father and daughter. We're gonna cue up this other one right here and um this one right here just speaks to itself. And again, I apologize to my folks who download the podcast and y'all can't see what we're playing right now. But when you get a chance, go over to the YouTube channel, go over to the Facebook page, or just go to the site stlhustlepodcast.com and you're going to see what it is that we be cackling about when we do our segment called Gone Viral. Let me cue this one up. Hola. you want to piss a father off the last thing we want to see is our baby girls gyrating and shaking their hips uh but they was all in it. they was too into that though they, they kind of they was too into that but what the hell's going on there what, what the hell's going on oh, what the hell? oh no no you need this he was right for that 
And, and then on top of that, y'all streaming this mess online with the dog on TikTok or TikTok or whatever it is they're doing. Y'all putting this out here for the world to see. Now, right. y'all is um like like Kevin Hart said, we're not looking good as a unit right now, people. Uh, <laughs> you, you got your butt online shaking and gyrating, and the people on the other end is saying, "Where is they daddy?" The people on the other end are saying, what goes on in this household that they can get? So we're going to try not to be in the judgment zone here, but I'm glad he came through with the belt, right? Yeah, oh, they know what a daddy is now. I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad he showed up on the video. Like, oh, yes. oh we made appearance on Tic Tac, as you call it. Yes, yes. Right in at the, listen, it ain't going down. And then he's going to uh, have them demonstrate it one last time. Get over it. Now do the dance again. Do the garage. <laughs> With the building hands. What's that mean? Say it again. No, 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 no. Hey. Yeah, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Baby Allen on them. Do it again. <laughs> right. Yes, yes, yes. So our last going viral clip for the day. We're going back to my man Corwin. This guy is hilarious with the voiceovers. And he's found him a nice little muse. Cause this little boy in these red bulls, man. Uh, this is the second take on the Red Bull deal. So let's hit you with this version of Gone Viral, more Red Bull. See, this how I like to drink mines. I got to shake mines up. It tastes, hold on. What you doing? Man, oh, get wait, back before wait, I open it up on you. I know how to do this. I got to get my Shoot. sound up. Oh, <laughs> hey. Oh, hold on. Yes, wait. baby. Ooh. They can hear it, but I, I can't like it like it. that. I gotta know when. Let it's me get lit. Let me it's all it. over my hand. I drunk two of them. Ask them. I love a red pour. Hold on, y'all. All right, wait. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. We gonna replay that one because y'all gotta y'all gotta get that without me talking in the background. But this this little boy is is one of my favorite people on the planet, man. I don't know where he's from or where he's at, but he is just hilarious. So let me recue it. See, this how I like to drink mines. I gotta shake mines up. It tastes hold on. What you doing? Man, get back before I open it up on you. I know how to do this. Shoot. Oh <laughs> hey. Oh, hold on. Yes, baby. Ooh. I like it like that. Let me get lit. It's all over my hand. I drunk two of them. Ask them. I love a red pour. Hold on, y'all. Hold up. <laughs> Wait, y'all, is that Austin? <laughs> right there. Yes, that's my butt. Ask him. He like, stop. Look, we've been to too many places. Ask him. He like, mm hmm. Hey, I'm getting ready to go somewhere. I'll be back. But before I go, I'm going to give you a red boy. I'm going to give you one. Lie. <laughs> Hold on. What you mean why I won't give you one? Because it's mine. You begging and ain't even give me hell. Woo so that is hilarious to me, man. That his eyes, man, uh, and he just having some innocent fun with Red Bull. But then here come my guy Corin with the voiceover. Uh, <laughs> this dude, I don't know where they find this little boy. I don't know who baby that is, but this little boy, and then old boy with the voiceover. He just that's that's. Man, when I tell you I watched that 90 many times, <laughs> I was, I'm telling you, it's its another one out there. Mm, when I, y'all got to go to my page. It's one out there where he work with people. It's, it's, it's the videos that you see online, but it's mm -hmm. one, how they, you know, India is not playing about this coronavirus. Yeah. And they, India is working people like, get your behind yeah. off the street. Yes. And man, they, they, they they whooping people, but the voiceover that this dude does to them whooping people to get them off the street. <laughs> yeah, you. get your Whoop. butt home. <laughs> so, what are you going to expect to get? <laughs> well, uh, when I tell you, he, he whooped the folks up. <laughs> he whooped the people so bad. I say they need to do that here. <laughs> he yeah. Them. So, hold on, I thought we could go back outside. <laughs> I thought it was cool. Hold on, let me get my mic. Let me just get my stuff. Oh, geez, I laughed so hard. I, 
Mm. Yeah, that is that is good stuff. So that is our gone viral segment, people. We like to find viral videos and uh, get a good laugh, man. It's good to laugh during this uh, whole uh, quarantine situation, man. And uh, that is also one of the recommendations to keep your relationships tight, whether it is parent-child relationship, whether it is uh, your love relationship, whether it is coworker, whether it is friend. Uh, another tip, uh, and I'm reading this article on the Independent. Uh, keep the uh, don't make assumptions about how the other person feels. Right, yeah. this is where your communication comes in. Uh, I know sometimes we just assume that I'm good. They must be good too. Uh, not all the time. So don't make assumptions about how the other person feel is uh another good tip man and we do um, that all <laughs> i know because you know my 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 two of my sons are content right you, you still having that last deal uh, uh <laughs> two of my sons are content but my baby boy he's kind of like his pa at 18. uh he got to be in them streets man and I'm assuming that, hey, brother, sit your cell down somewhere because I'm always working. I've got my laptop. I got my office. I got my studio. I'm recording videos. I'm uh, marketing online. I'm doing what I do to make sure that we can keep the lights on around here. And that takes me all day. So I'm cool. And I'm assuming that why come you can't sit still all day like I can sit still? So I'm assuming how he feels during this situation. But he's 18. He's uh, what 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 the uh, my grandma and grandpa was said is hot to trot at 18. He's got to get out of this house every chance he gets because we're probably driving him crazy. <laughs> the more you talk, I think he's aged about 10 years since we started. Class. Listen, I'm almost old. I'm telling you, it's, it's I feel it. It's right around the corner to where it's is. I'm skipping middle age. I'm going straight to old. Uh, that's that's what's happening, right? So let's see a couple other points uh, on this article uh, about your relationships, man, during this time. I think this is a good one, and it is except these circumstances are going to be testing. Uh, and I think that's something that uh, I've done in every area of my life, not just in relationships. I just, you just kind of anticipate uh, some rough patches, some rockiness. Um, you know, like you said, we are at home uh, more than we've been around each other probably in these last six weeks. And we, you know, a lot of times in our whole entire life, especially uh, young relationships. Can you imagine the uh, relationship where the couple just moved in together and their routine was, hey, I go to work, you go to work, we come back. Uh, we have dinner, we watch a movie, and then we go to sleep. Now, I'm working from home, you working from home, we here all, <laughs> all day long. It's like, who this man? <laughs> who this woman? What did you do with my mate, my spouse? Like, I don't yeah. know you, I don't know you. Yeah, you or, know? or you get to actually hear them at in their work environment. You know, yeah. they're in the other room, they're on conference calls with their boss and coworkers, and you didn't know that they were a jerk until you hear them talking to their subordinates. And it, man, this this stuff can get crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, for real. Be like, I did not know you made it. <laughs> or, or you big and bad around here, but when you get on the phone with your boss, you all cower down. What, what, what's that about? <laughs> Are you a punk man? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So at the end of the day, people, don't let the coronavirus kill your relationship. Uh, figure some things out, man. Develop a new routine. Uh, open up your lines of communication. Start talking a lot more. Uh, you're probably going to need that more than any time in your relationship during this time. And that is not just your love relationship make sure you're looking out for your children make sure you're checking on your friends especially your extra extroverted friends like my my girl michelle here because uh, they going through right now folks they they going through uh there's only so much partying you can do in your bedroom right <laughs> it's like 
Right. It's like the little little app. Have you seen the party app where you there's an app that yeah, there's an app where you can actually turn on your music and you can party, but the app puts a club environment all around you. So now it's not like you're partying by yourself. There's a lot of people, you know. Seen that? Was it on was that on TikTok? <laughs> that might be a TikTok too. TikTok, I don't know. <laughs> but I saw it's it's super cool. I think for you okay. extroverts. I, I was just saying I want to go dance. I love to dance. I love to shake so, so now you can dance, play I'm it back, dancing. and you ain't dancing by yourself. <laughs> Thanks, Tizzy. Yes. Yes. Good idea. Yes. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, we're trying to bless some folks. So if you are a first responder, you are on the front lines. Tell us what it is that you do and yes. drop your cash app if you bad. Hell, you, drop your cash app. Can somebody just drop their cash app? Drop you so it. bold. Remember that? I really got to beg you to be blessed. Like, you so bold. Drop your cash app. Right. Huh. Drop your cash app. You drop bold? Yeah. Drop your cash out. We're going to bless somebody today. Remember, guys, we are on Spotify. We are on iTunes. We are on Stitcher. We are on iHeart. Wherever you get your podcast at, we are there. Do us a favor. Make sure you go and give us a rating and a review. Let us know how you like the show. Let us know what you would like to see in the show, how we can make the show better. This is episode number nine. We are still new at this thing, man, but we're going to keep coming back every week to give y'all some of this St. Louis hustle. Um, And when they open up back outside, we've got some things in store for you. Y'all going to see us all over the loop. We're not going nowhere. We're going to keep coming with this. Like It's like, I don't know, it's one of the things like, they don't they don't uh, no, we're not. <laughs> like, first of all, this one, I don't know what side he on. <laughs> He's not giving up. No. That's the first thing you need to know about Mr. Hustle. It's like he does not give up. No. You know what I'm saying? No. He's not gonna let me give up. You know That's what I'm right. saying? So we in this. You know what I'm saying? So we're not going anywhere. We're gonna keep showing up and keep showing up and keep showing up. Cause this is what we do. Anybody yes. that know me, you know with top of the top of the top, this is what I do. <laughs> if you know him. You know, hustling is what he do. Like it's what we do, man. It's what he does. You That's know, right. so me in combination with him, we both are doing what we were put here to do. So we're gonna Boom. do what we do. Um, right. so we're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. And speaking of hustle, make sure y'all inbox a brother so you can get your St. Louis Hustler three one four shirt in the mail to you. It's going down, people. This is what we do. So. With that, Shelley, last words? Uh, stay inside a little bit, unless the weather is nice. Oh, I'm on vacation. <gasps> vacation starts for me tomorrow. That's my last words. Is tomorrow for 12, 14 days or whatever. I'm not talking about no work or nothing like that until the 12th is when I go back. So I'm going to be loving life. I'm loving life now, but it's going to be amazing. Can so. you do a vacation on quarantine? How, how are you going to manage? I'm, it's going to be wonderful. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you as always for tuning in. One last shout out to my sponsor, freefunnelmachine.com. If you are not using sales funnels in your business, you're working too hard. Go to freefunnelmachine.com, get your free website, come to the autoresponder, and you can build your website. All the training you need is right there. So until we talk to y'all next time, fellas, ladies, we want you to get your money up because you absolutely can do it. But more importantly, you deserve to do it, each and every single one of you. Now hustle up.